Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ Surprise Mods again today. We were told we weren't getting any, but we did. We got eight mods today for Farm Sim 22. All platforms got two new and two updates, and PC and Mac players got two new and two updates. We're going to take a look at the new mods, plus customization, or lack thereof, and we will review everything we got an update. Starting off with new ones for all platforms. Today, we have the Manure Pellet Production from Zodal Zoct. They do say this mod includes a, a Dung Pellet Production and a Cell Station, for the products. A little bit of a bone to pick with the cell station, but we'll talk about this, which is pretty darn cool. You can take manure and turn it into pallets, manure pallets. So we have the manure and separated liquid manure. If you guys have the pumps and hoses DLC installed, well, you can use those too, which is pretty darn cool. It gives you a use for them. Um, and if you use the separated manure pallets, you actually get more for that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, as far as everything else goes, you just get your, uh, your product at the front and then you sell it here now Zotozoct continues to use as well a few other people a uh, hundred thousand dollars for this and and this is the only place that you can sell these things so if we jump into our production chains and we take a look right past it there it is uh, so this is gonna cost you seventy five thousand dollars however selling points manure pellet production mod 100 grand just for the selling station uh, DJ don't like it. And your only other new one for all platforms today is going to be an old barn shed in the style of the Middle Ages. Very, very long name for it. Uh, it's an old barn. Uh, $10,000. And the uh, modder's name is Doodoo. One of my favorite modders. <laughs> all right, making our way over to some mod updates for all platforms. We have the electric fire defense. This is version 1.1. This is also the exact same version as the PC only version. So pay attention here. I'm not going to read it twice. We got the conversion to interactive control at a blue light brightness configuration. Blue light sequence improved. New decal on the roller shuttle control units. Martin Shorn move to the right mouse button. Not sure what that means. Steering mode setting of the rear axle has been improved. Labels of the steering modes have been added. Lights on the control unit revised. Lid screen riper rotation point has been adjusted. Last mast now rotates back to its original position when folded. This is good. That was an issue that we had before. Rear low beam down and license plate light fixed. Hazard warning flasher and lifting technology toggle switch fixed. Wheel front left fixed. Factory design configuration on the right wheel arch fixed. And Lua call stack error when turning on the siren has been fixed again this is exactly the same update for the pc version it's your only other mod update for all platforms it's going to be the construction fences now this is still showing version 1.0 however we have a uh, basic mesh fence and that was it at least to start with so you can see here we have that basic mesh fence but i do believe he's added some extra so we have like a black tarp we also have a camo tarp which is super cool we're getting a lot more camo vehicles lately so you guys can build your own, like, a uh, hunting hide or something like that. This is pretty neat. Anyway, construction fences have been updated. Jumping over to new ones for PC and Mac players. The first one is going to be the Forge Harvester Straw Pickup. This adds the ability to pick up straw from fields that generate straw from the crop to all base game Forge pickup headers. All modified headers have color selection, slight speed increase, and slight working width increase, which may be super helpful for you guys. Since the Forge Harvester is chomping down on the straw, you will get a slight 10% increase in that straw. So there's a reason to do this as well. They've modified the Kloss Pickup 300, the Kemper 3003, John Deere Header 639, and the Corona Easy Flood 3, Flood 3, Flow 300. S. The headers do cost $1 more than the base game and uh, license CCO 1.0 Universal. Not sure what that means, but there you go. Uh, I've also been told by Yoast Modding that they work with the uh, extended straw crop, so that is pretty darn cool. And your only other new one for PC and Mac players today is the extended vehicle entry. This mod improves manually entering to vehicles. Now vehicles that you are looking at is primary to enter instead of the closest one to you. Additionally, now when you look at anything that is attached to the vehicle, for example, the trailer, plow, cedar, etc., you will have the ability to press entry on the vehicle button and you will be taken inside just like you would standing next to it. This is super helpful and super handy if you guys are like me and maybe sometimes you're looking off into the distance or something like that. Just be careful. I uh, think maybe if you're standing beside something and you're looking at something else, you may accidentally enter something else. But just uh, take a look, check it out. Hey, 
is pretty cool. And lastly today, let's talk about some mod updates for PC and Mac players. The first one is the RTELHF, aka the Electric Fire Defense. Uh, this is the PC and Mac only version. However, uh, the update is exactly the same. And your last mod today, a mod that I use daily, the Info Display Extension. This is version 1.6. Outputs on Animal Stables has been extended. Display of power requirements on stable added for attachments. Display of the power vehicles. Stock quantities no longer skip on 21.9 monitors. And productions hidden by GTX production script are no longer displayed. Well, that is it. That is all the mods for today. We weren't supposed to be getting mods yesterday, today, or tomorrow. So uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow, I guess. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. And join the GoHab fam. Stay tuned. We got a shorter news video coming out later on, but still some good stuff in that. So uh, with all that being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.